Due to environmental and economic concerns, there's been a movement to reinvent personal transportation, to somehow take the automobile out of the environmental equation without added expense or drastically altering our lifestyles. So later this year, we will see the newest generation of electric vehicles out on the road. The Volt is still an automobile, still has four doors, is expected to do everything a normal automobile can do without compromise. And as such, still had to look and feel like an automobile and function like people expect an automobile to function, but do it in a completely different manner. The current gas-powered internal combustion engine that runs today's automobiles has the luxury of a hundred years of trial and error. Today's electric vehicles have only a couple decades of on-again, off-again research, and only in the past couple years with the advent of powerful, lightweight lithium-ion batteries have they become truly feasible. Well, what the consumer sees is something that is pretty easy to use, but the sophistication that underlies that surface is amazing. You can go literally through thousands of iterations in math to optimize a design where in the old days we had to make something in the shop, we would bring it out and test it. Literally you can do hundreds much less expensively, much faster to get to a, a far better state of design much more quickly than with the old methods. Batteries have been running non-stop at General Motors state-of-the-art battery lab to simulate a 10-year lifespan. And the brains of the Volt, the computers and other electronics are being tested here at the High Performance Compute Center. Behind me in this room are 10,000 processors some of which are water-cooled because of the heat they generate, which solve millions of equations millions of times a second to simulate new vehicle development like the battery or electric motors or the software controls that are in the Volt. This is what it takes to develop the new propulsion strategy in just a few years rather than in several decades. So will the Volt and its electric-powered brethren reinvent transportation? The Volt is on schedule to hit dealer showrooms later this year. I'm Chris Hansen.